Hello YouTubers. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, replace the connector on an Atari Mega STE. Now um, the connector on my keyboard, the clip broke off. Let's see if I can show you here against a black background. Uh, the connector that actually uh, holds the the clip that holds the connector to the computer has snapped off and maybe you don't know what it looks like. I'll just show you with the the new connector. That little clip there is what holds it in the computer and so every once in a while my keyboard would uh, fall out and it would appear like my computer had crashed. It's very annoying. So I'm going to remove the connector off the end and put a new one on. So what kind of connector is on the end of a Mega STE? Well, it's actually an RJ12 connector. Uh, it looks exactly like a phone connector. In fact, uh, RJ11 is a phone connector, and RJ12 is uh, is the same physical dimensions. And the uh, only difference is the number of conductors that are inside the cable. Uh, one has uh, four conductors, uh, the other has six conductors. Now I'm going to use this device to uh, cut the end off the cable, and I'm going to leave enough cable around so that I can look at the conductors and, uh, and the color sequence for later on. So if you don't have this little device, it's really useful, and I'm going to just remove the, uh, the outer shielding, or the, the outer insulation from this uh, cable. Pretty easy with this device. And there you go, the outer uh, outer sleeve is gone and it still has the, the shielding. So I'll just remove that shielding. And I have all the conductors available to me. Okay, while I was uh, looking at the cutoff connector, uh, I noticed something and you can't really see it in the video. So I'll put up a, an image here. Here's a picture of the connector clip side down and the ground here actually has a uh, heat shrink on the connector inside the connector itself. So I am going to take my uh, ground and uh, put some heat shrink on the end of it. Okay, now I've got all the conductors in the con connector, and I'm about to uh, crimp on the cable. Now, I went and redid this connection afterwards, but this was good enough for a proof of concept at this stage. It's uh, nice, and, nice and strong. Let's uh, plug this thing into the computer. Okay, now the moment uh, everyone's been uh, waiting for. It's uh, time to turn on the computer, see if the keyboard works. We have power. Okay, so the Atari is probably doing a memory test right now, and if you press enter, it's going to skip it. So. Ah, there we go. Well, that indicates the keyboard's working. That's a good sign. Wow, this boot's taken a long time. A little lot, lot longer than normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, apparently the SCSI hard drive didn't uh, come up, so I'm just going to hit the, the reset button and uh, let's restart this and zoom back into the screen
Ah, okay. It's seeing the hard drive now. That's a good sign. Okay, so the way I'm going to test the the uh, keyboard is I'm going to start up a terminal emulator and just uh, turn on local echo and see if all the keys are responding. So I'm going to use the uh, the TAS terminal and I believe it is Alt E to get local echo. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. Yes, the keyboard is working. The numeric keypad is working. We are done.